Hello ladies and lads, this is Civic Dude and welcome to Hypermind guys. This is my all new Feed the Beast series on the Hypermind server. Um, you guys probably already saw the first episode where we took a little tour of the uh, the main hyper town here, the spawn village. Slipgator was nice enough to uh, to show us around town and kind of give us that lowdown on on the different uh, machines and buildings uh, available for use within Hyper Town. Um, he also pointed out a few of the different guys that have bases close by, and um, you know he showed us their their kind of the general area where they are. Um, so for this episode, um, you know I'm really excited to be on the server. Um, I've been trying to get on for a long time, and I'm really very grateful and appreciative to actually um, have the chance to be on here now. Um, so, Zuljan, thank you very much, buddy, for letting me on. I really appreciate that. Um, for this episode, we're going to start um, actually getting into uh, finding our base and, uh, you know, setting up the basics of getting supplies and maybe, um, you know, getting a few basic necessities together. So, I've already scouted out a, a good area. It's not too far from, from, uh, from town. I think it's less than a thousand blocks, but... Uh, Anyways, we are in a glacier, and it's having a little trouble loading up at the moment, but uh, we'll give it a second to kind of generate and load up here. Um, I'm a huge, oh my gosh, huge fan of these glacier biomes. They just look like the coolest thing to me in the world. Um, oh, there's some mobs over there. We'll have to kill those guys later. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what it is about these glacier biomes, but they are one of my favorite, if not my favorite entirely, um, in the entire Feed the Beasts game, really. Um, I don't even, I mean, whenever I see ore in the side here, I don't even want to mine it because it just, the, the terrain looks so cool to me. So, um, there's a zombie with golden armor. And looks like we got a little bit of server lag. Oh, now he sees me. Yeah, we got a little bit of server lag tonight, so... I'll try and stay away from mobs as best I can, but look at this. You can see right through the ice. How cool is that? One of my favorites, like I said. So, let's go ahead and see if we can't find our way around. Um, we need to find some, some trees and get to punching wood like you always do when you start up a new Minecraft game. There we go. I think I see some right in front of us. So guys, like I said, I'm very excited. Oh, there's a twilight thing. Sweet. I wonder if that means somebody else is close by. Ah, <gasps> it does. Who is this? Let's do some snooping. Whose base is this? There's nothing in that chest. Let's see. Bunkhouse, farmhouse, mining... Maybe this is T.O. Lone Wolf's place. Perhaps. Perhaps it is. And if so, we'll just make sure to uh, not get too close. I know I don't like to, uh, I don't like to be invaded too much on, on my space, and I'm going to respect everybody else's space as best I can. So, we'll make sure not to get too close in our, uh, in our buildings and stuff like that. So, we'll stay on, on our part of the the glacier and let him stay on his part of the glacier. I think that's T.L. Lone Wolf's place. Um, we'll see. I'll ask him next time I see him. Okay, so let's find this uh, tree. Right, cha. Right, cha. No, let's get this one over, cha. We're going to punch it down, chop it down to size, take its wood, harvest its resources, experience some block lag. The basic things on a server. You know how it goes. There we go. Lots of block lag. My goodness. I wonder if I... Nope. I was thinking if I update the block next to it, then uh, it'll make this block update. But I was wrong. So, like I said, guys, I am super stoked to be on the Hypermind server. Um, a lot of guys that I follow are on this server, and um, I'm just really excited to be in cahoots with all of them and, uh, you know, getting to know these guys and just really soaking up as much as I can as far as 
knowledge and um, skills and the ways of feed the beast. <coughs> things like that. So, let's go ahead and do the very first things in Minecraft. We're going to make a chest, or not a chest, a workbench. There we go. And, man, th this is crazy. I haven't had to do the basic things like this in a while. Okay. And, you know, I'm not even sure why I just made a an axe. What I should be making is a pick. That way I can get... Oh, jeez. Block lag like crazy. Okay, so if I can pick up my items... There we go. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. This is going to be a long episode if the, if the lag keeps up like this. There we go. Okay, now... Let's go find us some... Some cobble. We're going to find some cobblestone. One. One. And a two. And one more. Three. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Just like we meant to do it. Okay, now... I'm going to take a lot of this. Oh, by the way, Slip gave me a bunch of steak... <laughs> to start off, as well as some diamond armor, and then uh, it was either VT Gamer or TL Lone Wolf, I can't remember which one of you guys at the moment gave me the Longfall Boots and Advanced Electric Jetpack to, to get me started. Um, I really appreciate those, all those gifts, guys. Helps with the basics to get me, get me going quicker. Okay, so now that we have a stone tool... Oh my goodness, this lag is going to kill me. There we go. Now, let's go get some more trees. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, just to start off this series, I think we're going to do... Um, we're going to start off with kind of going down the thermal expansion line. Um, a lot of build craft, a lot more build craft intensive um, than the previous... Um, videos that I've done so far on Feed the Beast. Um, IC2 is fun, industrial craft. That is fun for me. Although, um, you know, getting into like nuclear reactors and fusion reactors and those advanced, real advanced machines is something that's a little bit later game. And so I've done, I've done the early game. You know, I've done the early game thing with IC2, and I want to do the early game thing with uh, thermal craft or thermal expansion. And build craft now, because I want to I want to experience you know as many different mods in this in this game as I can, and really educate myself on the different uh, aspects of of feed the beast. And so I think uh, this time around we're going to start with uh, going down thermal expansion. So we'll have things like the uh, powered furnace and the uh, what's it called pulverizer and uh, aqueous aqueous accumulator, you know things like that. Some hobbyist steam engines. Uh, different things to provide power that way that are different than the industrial craft um, mechanics. Oh my gosh, come on. I have to break everything two or three times tonight. Oh, oh no. And don't even forget, forget about it if you toss something on the ground accidentally. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's see if this other tree dropped any saplings. Of course not, because nothing's updating. So I always like to replant. You know, I was saying that the glacier is my favorite biome. The other favorite biome um, of mine would be something like the autumn wood uh, trees. Um, I don't know what the biome is called specifically, but you know, you know which one I'm talking about. They has the the autumn trees, the different colored uh, trees that are not the standard green oak wood trees. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that's good enough for now. Okay, so let's go back home. Um, Got to get used to... Ooh, hello, there's a cave with a zombie. Got to get used to using these linking books. Mistcraft is something that's new to me, and so it's a uh, little different than what I'm used to. So um, for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to set up base on top of this glacier mountain right here. 
Um, this is not where I'm going to build whatever house we end up making. That's probably going to be down in one of these valleys or in the hillside or something like that. Um, but for now, we're just going to do this, go down this route. And let's go ahead and get some of this coal because we're going to need coal for sure. There we go. Block lag for days. Come on. Give me some give me some coal. It's funny, I get the experience before I actually get the coal. There we go. Oh my goodness. Come on. It's funny how some of the blocks decide to break and some of them do not. It's just it's just so sad. We're still trying to hunt down some lag causing problems on the server. Um, somebody, I'm not going to mention who, put up a, a quarry, a 64 by 64 quarry, and filled it with water. Um, so FYI, if you do that, that will cause intensive lag on your server for uh, any and all who play on that server. So that is something we have learned the lesson, the hard lesson on, in case you were wondering. And let's go ahead and make a couple torches. There we go. A little bit better lighting for you guys. In fact, while I'm mentioning that, let me make sure my... Okay, good. Just checking to make sure the brightness was turned up. I know how YouTube likes to darken the videos sometimes. So, <clears throat> typical video... Um, from this Feed the Beast series is not going to involve a bunch of this mining um, and boring uh, work on the on the camera. Um, but for the first episode or two, I like to uh, bring you guys along for that, just because there's not much to show um, as far as you know building incredible machines or crazy contraptions or things like that. Unless you know it would it would take me too long to to bring that stuff up to speed. Um, and I want to get these videos out for you guys so you can watch as uh, we go along uh, in the uh, in the process of doing this stuff. Goodness, I tell you what, guys, this uh, this server lag right now is intense. Fortunately, though, it doesn't look like it's hurting my pick um, durability too much. So I guess that is good. I got that going for me. I don't know. Just seemed like the right thing to say. Okay, so I've got three pieces of cobblestone. Let's get a few more so we can actually make a single furnace. I know it's going to be a plain, boring, vanilla um, furnace, but that's how you start out every game. So, oh, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. There we go. Um, while we're in this in this glacier, what we can do is build a uh, oh, what is it called a glacial something or other. Let's look it up. Glacial nope. Um, any eye? Are you uh, are you not working for me right now? Uh, let's find it. Where is it? It's like a glacial creator. You can make glaciers or ice actually ice blocks with this machine and I can't remember what it's called. Here, let's look it up. Okay, so let's look up this glacial maker thingy that I was talking about. It makes ice blocks. It's really cool. And if I can remember what it's called, or if I can find it just by scrolling, then I can actually show you guys and where is the thermal expansion stuff? Come on. Come on. Okay, we're close. There's machines. Was it not right here? No, that's that's railcraft stuff. Um What's this thing? Secret camo steel, that's pretty cool. Where are these things? Ooh, hello, lots of pages. Come on. Where are you guy? There you are. Um, glacial precipitator. That's what we're going to make at one point. 
So you take snow and the regular building blocks for a um, thermal expansion um, machine, and you can make ice. So uh, we might have ice incorporated into our, our house design that we're going to use. Um, so that would be pretty cool. But for now, what we need to do is do some basic um, vanilla Minecraft mining. We're going to go make some more uh, torches. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Torches. Make some more torches and then do some mining. We're going to have to do uh, just a basic mine down to bedrock or you know level 10 or 11 or something and uh, find some good good stuff to get us going. So for now, we're going to make a chest and we're going to dump a bunch of stuff in there that we just do not need. So, let's see. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a uh, furnace. There we go. There we go. Oh man, so much progress. <laughs> We're doing so good, guys. Let's keep it up. Come on. Totally sarcastic, by the way. Um, so let's get a couple of those. I don't know why I opened up the chest. I assume... I'm not sure what I was thinking, actually. Okay. Now, let's go find a good spot to do some mining. I want to go away from Lone Wolf's place. Maybe find something over here on this side that's not um, in use at the moment. And normally once I get a little bit farther along and I can get a quarry together, I can use the uh, the mining world that we have set up on here to, uh, to get my resources. But for now, I'll just have to do the old school dig around in the ground method by hand. Oh gosh, that sounds so ugly. Dig around by hand. What am I thinking? Okay, zombie. We're gonna we're gonna end you. Hopefully the lag will not be too much. Oh gosh. You just have to spam the the hit button. Hope that you hit him. Come on, there we go. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? potato on my first zombie. Guys, if I didn't have that on camera, you would have never believed me. <laughs> and I would have not believed me either. That's awesome. We're going to have to go plant that guy. Cool. That's really cool. I'm <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Okay. So, let me get let me dig a little bit down here and then I'll bring you by, guys back whenever I get a little bit more uh, uh whenever I get a little bit more dug. Come on. Get out of there. there. we go. Okay. Hey, guys. Welcome back. So, um, we're down at level 60 now. Um, found a little cave here, and I found some things that I really care about early on. Uh, that would be copper and iron. So, I figured I'd harvest some of this stuff, and we can actually get started making some of the, uh, the things that we want to make. Um, to make the thermal expansion powered furnace and the... Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, the powered furnace and pretty much all the other basic uh, machines. We're going to need some gold and we're going to need some, some redstone also. So we might have to do a little farther excursioning to find those things. Um, but, you know, the basics, iron and copper, we can find right here. Right here yeah, and right now. And the block lag is still there. Yep, it's still... Uh, Frustratingly slow. <laughs> you have to mine things twice often. Like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's it's frustrating, but you know what? Well, we'll deal with it. It's okay. It won't be here forever. There we go. We get a few pieces of iron here, and we can start cooking those up. Come on. There we go. We're gonna try and take all this coal that we can. Like, oh, come on now. Come on. Give me the coal. Give me the coal. There we go. 
<laughs> so this is a lot of fun, guys. Um, the rest of us on the on the server here, we were talking about, and I think we have a Reddit thread going right now. Um, maybe getting some community events together, and uh, you know, getting the getting the guys together to do some some group events. Uh, you know, such as maybe something like a uh, Ultimate Hardcore, um, or uh, you know, something similar to that. And by the time that this episode goes out, you might guys. Uh, we might have already decided what we're going to be doing, uh, slash have already done it. Um, so, if we have, I uh, hope you liked it. If we have not yet, then uh, look forward to those coming out soon. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be yet. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to, to join in those um, and uh, get some good recording done with, with, uh, with the guys doing those things. Um, if not, then uh, we'll try and get in the next round of, of uh, group events. But uh, just let it be known that, that uh, the Hyper Miners are a community group, uh, and we are anxious and happy to work together and uh, do these kinds of group things. Um, we're a tight-knit community here, and we like to, uh, like to have fun together. So, Oh my gosh, come on with the iron. The mining, oh my goodness, look at that. The mining is killing me right now, guys. If it wasn't for the fact that I love recording and I love getting videos out for you guys, I probably would not be recording right now. And there's a zombie. Oh, zombie. Well, at least he's not an angry zombie. So we have a chance of killing him. Perfect. That was so easy. It's like he was a, a terrible zombie. Oh, man. What's going on over here? Is this the end of a cave? Maybe? Nope. Sure is not. Sure is not. Man, there's a lot of good resources right here. I'm telling you, the ones that I care about right now are copper. Oh, I see a creeper so close to me on the ma on the mini-map. It's scaring the poop out of me. Ugh, I hate, I hate creepers. They're always sneaking up on you. I wonder where this guy is. Oh, well, I will have to worry about him some other time. I don't have time right now. Gotta record. Gotta get this video. Gotta get this coal. There we go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the the first episode there with Slip. Um, and it was kind of an impromptu, hey man, let's do some recording uh, kind of a thing. So, uh, you know, we, we made it into a thing, and it uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I was really happy with, oh my gosh, I was really happy with uh, the response that I got um, whenever I first started playing on the server. All the guys have been super nice and super helpful trying to help me get started. Um, it's been a really, really awesome, uh, experience so far. Um, oh, really awesome experience so far, like I was saying. Um, just being on the server and getting to know all the guys. Um, I'm really having fun so far. Oh my lord, this is the worst lag I've ever seen. I don't mean to complain so much, guys, but... I mean, this is... This is Lag Central. We'll call this Lag City. Dun dun dun. Yeah, so um, you can imagine with the lag, one of the the uh, things that we are always conscious of on the server are, you know, things that trying to avoid things that would cause increased lag, um, such as filling quarries with water. Or something like that. Um, so, on that note, I may be uh, restricting myself a little bit on the, uh, the the machines that I build or the, or the mods that I explore, just because um, I want to avoid any, uh, causing any additional lag that is not necessary. There we go. Um, you know, whenever you're on a server, you obviously can't just do whatever you want because you have other people's um, videos and other people's uh, creations to respect in addition to your own so 
you know, it's one of those give and take. You respect everybody else's stuff, and everybody else respects your stuff. It's kind of a one of those polite things to do. So I am really excited about all of this good copper and uh, iron. That's one of the main things you need. Whenever, oh God! Oh, get off of there! It's one of the main things you need whenever you're just starting out in uh, in feed the beast. Okay. So we got a lot of that. Now, let's try and get back to, what do we have here? We have half a stack of each, roughly. Let's try and find our way back to our, our mineshaft thing. After we, <laughs> after we uh, capture this, this copper ore. Alrighty, guys. So uh, we got down to the bottom of our mine. Uh, we actually ran into a, uh, a an abandoned mine shaft down there, and I found some gold and some steel ingots inside of a chest in that abandoned mine shaft. So that actually turned out really good, um, really well. We can actually start making some machines. And then I found a little bit of redstone um, immediately after getting down to the bottom of that mine shaft. So that turned out really, really good. Um, I'm really happy with the way that that ended up. Um, so we're going to leave um, the setup of our first machines to the next episode, but uh, for now, I'm going to leave you with, uh, you know, we got our bed, our chest, the basic vanilla things that you have every time you start a new, a new world in Minecraft. So um, thanks again for watching, guys. This has been a really good episode. I'm really excited to be on the Hypermind server. I want to just make sure everybody um, understands that I, I really, really appreciate the opportunity to be on this server um, I'm really enjoying it so far, and I know that I'm going to keep enjoying it uh, for many, many years. I don't know. Many futures to come. Um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.